Well, let me tell you a story about Vincenzo Linardi, the most stylish Italian man ever to come to Glasgow. But he wasn't here just because this has always been a stylish city. Linardi was here because he was a pioneer of flight. Scotland's love affair with ballooning began a way back in 1784 with James Teitler, who flew half a mile across Edinburgh. But it wasn't until the suave Italian aeronaut Vincenzo Linardi came to Glasgow that Scotland's love for ballooning really took off. When Linardi came to Glasgow in the October of 1785, he exhibited his balloon right here in the choir of Glasgow Cathedral and visitors were charged a shilling to view it. Vincenzo's balloon created quite a spectacle. It was green, yellow and pink, made of 140 square meters of silk. Vincenzo Linardi bought his balloon right here to St Andrew's Square. A huge crowd gathered to wave him off as he set off on his great adventure. The handsome debonair Italian had the women swoon as he stepped into his basket. The crowd roared as the balloon ascended. On November the 23rd, 1785, Vincenzo Linardi's historic flight set off from right here. He flew up into the sky and the weather was with him. The winds were just perfect for his ascent. And he found himself flying high above the city, out across the hills, finally landing 110 miles away, where he landed at the trembling feet of shepherds in Hoyk. After his first successful flight from Glasgow, Linardi was inspired to try the Glasgow elements again. And so he returned at the beginning of December to here, St Andrew's Square. However, this time, the crowd was bigger. And in the crowd was a local character by the name of Lothian Tam. Lothian Tam was a well-known local alcoholic. He'd seen the immense pink, yellow and green balloon and it sparked his interest. So he decided he wanted to join Vincenzo Linardi on his second flight from Glasgow. The balloon ascended a full six meters with Lothian Tam dangling by his leg upside down from the basket. It took several minutes for Linardi to cut the rope free and Lothian Tam plummeted to these very cobbles. But it was okay. Lothian Tam was so inebriated, he never even felt the fall. After these adventures, Linardi got the nickname the Daredevil Aeronaut. He became the heartthrob of thousands of Scottish women. They even started to wear balloon-shaped bonnets, which they called Linardi's. Linardi's historic balloon flight from Glasgow is what started the craze for aviation.